RV. Got myself and Chad Birchall here to bring you the action. I'm taking to my seat. You can too. Grab your snacks. I hope you're hydrated. About two and a half liters a day. And so the battle begins. Let's see if we've got some pace. Towards ramp, three Danes do charge. Flamey in jeopardy. Knocks the socks off of one, but it's all smoke and mirrors. It's forced to rotation. A heavy one. Three towards the lower side immediately from Navi oh, here, lovely. but it's back towards top. Yeah, it's a nice pivot into the site. Boomich unable to provide too much. That should have been a headshot. Oh, Roy lives to tell the tale and takes one for himself. Four on four. Simple vents with an armored CZ-75. Timing is everything for this fight. He has to get it on contact from someone else. What's his cue? Will it be Boomich? Trying to bait something. Flamey pincering in from Trophy. They're coming in from four different avenues of assault, Chad. No kids, though. You're right. They have to go now. Simple really going to be the go now. Simple really going to be the first man up. Refresh is waiting now. Simple really going to be the first man up. Refresh is waiting, but the CZ works out wonderfully into the site. Finds a second as well before Shush. Silence is simple. Flamey onto Roy, and that's the defuse. Great retake, great patience. Yeah. And the fact that they didn't, you know, lose their cool there, you were right in the fact that four different angles, the trade potential very low in that scenario. They get shut down on one of the fronts. They're locked out. But simple coming up the vent, that's the one that you're expecting to win. That's the one that refresh. He stops that. They probably win the round with these. So simple, a key factor in round number one. And here it is again, up the vent, CZ75. Easy as you like. Through hunt, through main, ladder you go. The nice diffuse job. comes on through. And let's see, the org, will it be dropped across to Simple here within the early stages? What's he rocking? An M4. Okay, so we have seen Simple have a bit of an affinity for the org on the CT side, able to use that uh, in lieu of the AWP. Three Desert Eagles, though, and I'm excited to see how far this small investment gets the Mad Lions. Damage is huge, considering that they've invested into three rifles. If you start chipping away, if you take a couple of rifles away, if you make the round chaotic enough so as they are unable to be retrieved. I mean, you're not going to grab this one, that's for sure. Simple, way up on the AC unit. Roy, a one deeg special would be required, and Simple has taken the fight and bested the first. Shush, next on the chopping block in good control. No armor, no issue. Electronic has the same for Acor, and one deeg is what Refresh is dreaming of not to be. Now, Refresh is one we want to keep our eyes on here today because he's uh, probably got the most decorated past out of all of the players in the server for Mad Lions today. Uh, he was part of the Franksters roster. We have to go back a couple of years for that. Had an opportunity to play with Optic under the uh, in-game leadership of MSL alongside of individuals like Nico. Tassis Config was in that team as well. Had a stint where he stood in for Cloud9. This is when the Cloud9 was uh, a menagerie of players not even like the recent Cloud9, one like where it was one. just thrown together. Flush air at some point. Yeah, and uh, Refresh actually stood in for Golden during a blast event where he was unable to get there because of health reasons. Cloud9 Golden, you're freaking me out. Yeah, I completely forgot right? about that whole so chapter. That was my sleeping on Cloud9 period of time Yes, well. that's right, my God. People didn't like that one very much, but I do like the fact that Acor has the AWP out immediately. Here's one I want to keep my eyes on as well. There's a star duo in my mind for this Mad Lions team, and well, Acor's part of that. Just want to clarify, that smoke we saw refresh, is that the main one? Like, I, next time we see him throw it, because uh, I know it's a, sh a fruity lineup. I think what it does is it goes to the skylight and lands in front of the T vent uh, ah. on a CT Molotov, and that way it lands. Fits, yeah. That one. So it's going to obscure that vent drop and doesn't have to be thrown on the, on the fly, it's thrown as a set piece. That's cool. Okay. Now, there is no info for the CTs as these two worm their way down secret. Completely silent. Lee Simple will glance now, but they don't have info. This is actually a bit of a gap in the CT setup. And it's one that could very well pay dividends for the Danes. Flamey looking for contact. And should he drop? It's all a question of timing here. Does Refresh want to poke him down? Or does he want to wait for that lower pack? They have to make a sound cue at some point, Chad. They're full lower control. Three from ramp. Bomb's already that's lower. The that's the sound cue, and that's the flamey frag. Gets it. Hooksy's already there to sweep him up, and now it's on to simple. It was, and it was quickly solved by Roy. Now only an MP9. Two to be specific for a retake. No fun for anyone, and a FAMAS for electronic working up towards ramp. The spray, not going to get him far. He opens the door, and the bullets are in the right direction, but nobody's down, and a 4v3 continues. This is very difficult to retake right now. Damage might just be name of the game here with these MP9s. I'm not sure how they can get back in. It's quite fortified over towards that window room. I really don't see an answer. They've got AKs for these lines as well. Just trying to contain. 
Bomb's yeah. halfway ticked. How, what's the safest exit plan for these? I think, I think they're locking them in because you have Electron, Electron towards ramp right now. They can't go vent. They can't go decon. They're just trying to take away as many guns as possible where do here. you go? I think you're safe top of ramp, and that's where they're headed. Oh, into decon. Oh, into window. Yeah, and Hoogs, he survives like the skin of his teeth. Up on the hunt. Nobody going down. They played that nicely. Mad Lions, conservative in their lower take. The fact, look, don't, I don't want to get started on this right now, but I'm just going to make reference. The fact that you can be that close to the bomb and not die, god damn. Oh, Ch Chad, that's not an, that's an argument for another day. I, I know you prefaced it. That's definitely an argument for another day because they would have been cream cracking yeah. if they had to leave anywhere else. Exactly. They would have had to have gone into the MP9s. They would have had to have gone up to ramp into uh, the guise of electronic there. But my one thing, I thought you were actually, th where, where you were going with your uh, lead-in, was the fact that there was no one looking for the cross red like that there was no contact electronics main he's focused on something elsewhere i wonder if that's a gap they'll be able to exploit again obviously it was just a, a gamble taken by the ct setter but two slipping the net and it led to flamey's demise all right so we're just going to bring something up quickly here alex you were mentioning uh, that smoke from refresh i've actually highlighted him here in the circle towards t spawn and the x of where the smoke's going to land so check this one out Jump throw, it's going to go through the window, bounce off the top there and down in front on top of the Molotov. Now, the reason that something like this is good is normally what you'll see is the squeaky door HE and the smoke follow. This way, the smoke's going to land perfectly. Oh. You're not going to have any gaps. Keep playing it out because this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is the gap Hooksy and Acor walk through. This so because right of that smoke thrown by Refresh, you can see Electronic, he's, he's paranoid of a potential walk through the smoke, a top site take, his SMGs are attention. These guys cross with no one looking. Simple, I think he was drawn towards ramp and temporarily. Take a little bit of a look back here. Simple was up to towards heaven, so still nobody facing this position. He's jiggled it, he's looked. We can fast forward it as well a little bit. So yeah, nobody with eyes on that whatsoever. Just dry. That's a, no a very dangerous way to Absolutely do it. Absolutely no info. Risky stuff, but it gets in the round and we are back in for round four. First game of the second day of I Am Beijing. And I'm excited to see whether or not we're going to get more Mad Lions on this T side. A bit more of a mix up. Some outside smokes look to be lined up, so they'll start to deny some info. This time around, and yeah, Electronic and Simple, quite the pair. Look at his head, god damn Simple. That was a risky maneuver. Mantles up on the rarely attended roof of Warehouse. Hooksy's aggressive into Warehouse himself. Very quick as well, and yeah. he's doing like in blame F fashion. He's on his own. He's got the rest of the pack together, taking a lot of liberties as an cool. in-game leader. Cool, cool, cool. I'll let you stay on the mic. I don't think we've got contact for a while. They actually, I say that, they're grouping ramp. What's Roy lining up? A boost? What? These, oh, <laughs> Flamey was not ready for that. Jumping on his teammate's head, Acor's knocked him for six. It's Flamey being punished twice now. They need to find Hooksy. They know that they've lost this territory, but they don't know if anybody's crossed. Flamey would have called a lot, but towards lower into Boomich's hands they go, and Boomich able to convert one. Is that enough? That should be enough, at least to slow them down. Acor's only got an AWP. Electronic has found Hooksy. Navi are digging themselves out of this hole, but that's a lot of flame. Forces Boomich into the line of fire. And now, as they look to descend as a pack, all three dropping the AWP as well. Simple upgrades for the situation. And now the bomb will be planted. Here they come. This could be chaos. A flash from Perfecto will catch Roy. Or not. Just a little too shallow. So many sound cues. Oh, it's a good flash and a peek, but tr quickly traded. Acor aggressive. He's got three this round. Some Oh. He's side orping prowess and electronic survives. How does he survive? He could have found Acor, but it's quite the round. A quad kill from the Danish Orper. And look at the mangled corpse oh, of no. Flamey. That was the boost that set Acor into motion. Yeah, you could see when Flamey was on the box, we just took a glimpse of his POV and he was aiming oh. lower than that. So Acor with a great pick there. Maybe something they've been working on as a bit of a special here against Flamey and his affinity for that box. But Acor instrumental in that lower bomb site, able to pick up the final frag as well. Great round, but he got scared. The fact that who was it that didn't close out on electronic? That's he'd have been red faced. Yeah, who was that on the site? I think, I think it, it was Shush. Been, yeah, yeah, he was on the floor of the site there. So that would have been a massive blunder. You can see what this has done to Navi's economy right now, having to just drop down towards these pistols. Here we go. I like what Hooksy's calling here. Just outside smokes. Let me bop down there. I'll call low site clear or I'll force a rotate. One of the two. Here comes Boomich. Loud as you like. He's forced one down. And with a MAC-10 against no armor as well, he's got to dream anything he can get with this MAC-10. $600 injected into what will be a long and strenuous game of Counter-Strike. This is all five members towards Yard. I know Hooksy's down towards the secret area right now, but look at everybody else. Now pushing quickly in towards Warehouse, taking full control. Refresh is the one who has to watch that flank. Top of Silo might be a problem, but it is just these pistols. And as they've used their utility quite diligently, they've got full control of Yard. Yeah, look at Electronica. He's aware of the potential Hello. push. And hi, Flamey, nice to meet you. There's another one's home. Yep. 
and Roy is peeking with him. It's perfect. It is, this is lovely. There's no, very little a P250 is going to do when there's a hunting pack and yard. Hootie's been down here for forever, but his presence <laughs> is all that really matters. Yeah, he's controlled it right now. So knows that no information can be taken there. And this one here, it should just simmer on out. I know Simple's still alive, but even still, they're spread out across the map quite. How's your CZ75 coming along, Chad? Um, look, I, I don't like it on the T side. I've actually switched over on both to the to the 5.7. Uh, sorry, the 5.7 and the Tech 9. I've, yeah. I've switched it off in recent times. I, I like and it on I pistol watch rounds. pros use it, and I'm like, it's legit. Look at it go. Takes off the head of Hooksy. That was only the Mac 10 though, so not too much of a casualty. No issues here. And well, Refresh has got it all sorted out. He was like in lobby the whole round. Boom, which has only got a P250. He's being hunted Nine down. Seconds. And that's the end of that. They could have got I sketchy. The, I don't know if the bomb would have even been able to plan in time. Yeah, that was well, getting really close. It looks like it was going down just in the closing seconds. But yeah, it could have been a bit of an awkward one. That's three in a row for Mad Lions. They'll yeah, take nice that. Stuff. Okay, so I, 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 maybe there was an issue with the bomb not you know, getting down in time, or there could have been. So let's just keep an eye on the late round situations for Mad Lions. I know that this one here it looked easy as your life. Casualties weren't anything we were getting excited about. But the clock, look, that's an enemy as well for the T side. So let's see what they're able to work with on the buy. No AWP for simple. He's down to the silence. Down four and Acor. He's going to get the tag. Electronic biffed on down to 47. So ramp has been exploited on two of the key rounds against Flamey. They've been able to to, to uh, dismantle him, and this time they're going to bring Simple over to help bolster the defense, boosting him up. That silence down four. It's perfect position for the job. Yeah, you're right. And they're going for the same boost on Acor. He's not going to find anything this time, and that scope will be heard. Simple knows what's coming. Will they be ready for a boost? This is Simple's chance for a massacre. Nobody's looking. Nobody's home, and he's un completely silenced. They do find it with a no scope, no less. Acor, quick adjustment, solves the mystery. And this mystery machine can go anywhere it wants now. Hooksy looking for trouble. He's once again blame effing it, if you will. Might have to be Hooksying it if he continues at this pace. Once again, slips down behind enemy lines unannounced. That's naughty. And that's powerful, considering that they have both ramp and the secret access to lower. It's about pacing and decision making from now on. Flamey needs a multi here. He's so cream crackered. Like, what do you get? They're going to shoot you in the back. Hey, course, yeah, that's nasty. And that's perfect from Mad Lions. Now, I'm afraid the save call might have to be made. CTs, they've got 2,900. Oh, Boomich. Oh, hello. And I don't think Hooksy's hungry enough to go look in. They're just going to accept that they have picked this round up with very minimal bloodshed. This is nice stuff here from Mad Lions. They have a clear game plan. They have a very clear game plan. Let's exploit Ramp. Let's put a lot of pressure on Flamey. He's sometimes a massive weakness for Na'Vi. He can be a star player, and he can also be an individual who rocks up and gets you just a handful of kills. And right now, they're hemorrhaging over towards Ramp. Simple, they're probably feeling a little bit unlucky. He didn't get more than one frag. But or Acor again with impact. He's looking off to trot right now as well. Dude, that nose skip on Simple could have, could have it, it could have been very different. I'd love to see it in the replays if we can see how quickly Acor reacted to that. I don't know whether we have it in the contextual. But it's four to two, scoreline, Mad Lion stringing together four on the T side of Nuke, no less. Yeah, so if they continue to punish Ramp, what's going to happen is maybe they have to put Simple over there with an AWP, and we've already seen a weakness towards Yard. So here you go, here's that contextual. Yeah, bro, angle. he solved that quick. Even first person too, lovely oh, stuff, nice. mid-air. Very good work from everyone in the production studio. There's the man with a smile creeping on his he face. He looks pretty hench. He does look hench. I'm not going to lie, Acor looks like he can lift something. I reckon he's definitely got that Viking uh, bloodline. You'd hope so. You'd hope what so? is that? That is cool. I want to learn the smokes. It's a warehouse smoke, neat and tidy from Spawn. And that is the last piece of the... What do we call that one? That's the L frame. That's the L? Yeah, so... Uh, Classic L frame. It's just they've they've kind of... It's a bit diagonal. Yeah, it's a bit of it a funky-ish L. The funky L? Yeah, it's, they've used Comic Sans to do that. Oh, one. you ruined it. Fecto evades that nicely. And it's actually a wild spray from his Famas that finds the head. Maybe there's more to be said. But mm, just as he looks away, Boomage does go down. Simple makes the round Ooh. a bit interesting because Flamey's found another Deagle frag. They can make this work. It's just Acor and Hooksy. Hooksy's gone now all onto Acor. Can he clutch up? It's against the very man he knows scoped. And he's only got an unarmored Deagle. But difference doesn't matter against Simple and against that one-shot headshot of the Deagle, Acor hears him. Simple has revealed. He has an orb. Uh, he had an AK. Simple, why is he not using the AK? And that's the end of that. Acor peeks him. Good question. 
Are you wanting that one shot headshot has the same with the AK? Not sure why he didn't opt for it. Oh. But they have the cash to splash, and it is that simple op. So, as you were discussing earlier, Chad, maybe yeah. we get simple ramp up, but maybe that means there's more of a gap outside. I'm intrigued. Well, maybe, just maybe, Electronic can be naughty around their aggressive CT-sided smokes. We've Ooh, seen it before like where he drops out that smoke towards T-Red. He'll play behind it to watch top of Silo, but he needs someone going to that help way. him. He's going that way. He is going to be a lot of work for Electronic, and I wonder whether or not they are, going, going, ramp they are well. going outside, or at least posturing for it. Oh. Did he get the molly? He might have. Could have corrupted the wall. I see, think I see a gap. He has made a gap. Lovely work from Electronic. On the fly smoke required, and they do underhand it. And off they go. There's a whole team behind that. It's going to be quite indicative of the yet. drop. And what on earth? Hooks, he's managed to get himself into vents already. Snuck down with that refresh smoke, I believe. This is cool. Mad Lions are playing a really nice T side here, and it's... it's it's right, nearly swore that. Me messing with <laughs> Na'Vi. It's definitely messing with them. Oh dear, that's simple. That's the star fragger, 11 to his name, and he's silenced in a 5v4 scenario. Loads of time. This is kooky. They've got the AWP in vents. Flamey tucked in on Dark. Shush is about to molly him out of position into the loving arms of Decon. Door swings open, timing's a bit off. He gets the bomb. Oh, that's huge, but Hooksy quick to trade. He's been doing a lot of heavy lifting with that MAC-10, at least presence, and now a nade landing. Uh, Perfecto's toes bomb to be planted. Round likely lost. Electronic wants to change the dialogue, though. Hooksy's head so close to being visible, he takes it off. Three on three established. They have kits. They will go for this. A, a smoke on Boomich as well. Shush traded nicely by Boomich. He has window room. Time ticking continues. Acor patrolling the perimeter. He knows where Boomich is coming from, but he's got two targets to find, and he takes the head off Perfecto neatly down the ramp as he descends. Still 2v1, and Acor's doing it all on his own. Jeez, he's just been great so far. Acor has been an absolute force to be reckoned with. A T-sided AWP, and I think he's gotten the lion's share of his frags in close combat orping. I'm glad you said it. Yeah, same same, same thought of me. I think I got I saw a quad kill in the lower site when they do a lower take, yeah. and he's done it again here on the bomb site. Close quarters opening. I love the glance to Perfecto. That angle wasn't easy. Acor coming in to, with a point to prove. Okay, uh -oh. frustration for Perfecto. Acor lining up another outside smoke, and we are off to the races. Do they go behind him again? I love the pace of this as well. They've it's intimidating. Been able to mix it up, and now against the pistols. As long as they don't flub it, and look who's down the vent again. Hooksy in the back lines once more. Same smoke that they threw. They've been conditioning that smoke from the second round. Yeah, so this is quite a clear pattern that they're starting to present, and he might even find oh, Flamey. Oh, Flamey's yeah. having a nasty game. Hooksy takes him down again. They've just got so much control, so much power. Admittedly, this is just against the quasi buy. Bang, bang, double D, not to the necessary belly. You hate it, you hate it. That's no fun. He's gonna t you uh, gonna toast, mate. You're cooking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Electronic uh, maybe thinking the flame's not as hot as we uh, could realize. He's pushed into it, got taken out, and, well, this is going to be the round in the favor of Mad Lions. It is their map choice. It is Nuke. The scoreline momentarily will be 7-2. to two. Nah, V, they are struggling right now. Simple does have 11 frags. His impact came on the pistol round and was able to get a couple as well on that first anti-eco. But since then, there haven't really been competitive rounds. Uh, no, uh, and I think at this point in time, you know, if we teleport to the, the post-match and we're sitting there going, through the skin of their teeth, Na'Vi have managed to make yep. it. You know, that's how it usually goes. Yep. But remember this moment. Remember the thoughts you're having now. Remember the... 7-2. Seven, seven two. Yeah, 7-2. Mad Lions looking impeccable. Acor, close quarters orping. Great calling. Hoogsy using a MAC-10 when he's got seven grand in the bank to shred through the unarmored, or rather no helmets, force by. Half by, I should correct myself. But this is 7 2. It's just Perfecto waiting to try and collect himself a weapon or in a, a cheeky frag, maybe grab himself a Kalashnikov. But nobody's home, nobody's giving him anything. And so he'll just save towards that ramp side. And there's the seventh we we're talking about. So keep track of that. Maintain the dialogue. Let's see if Na'Vi can dig themselves out. It is mm, potential to see another CT orb. So, you want a positive here, Alex, for Na'Vi? Go on, go on. Seven rounds in a row which means... We've got Max Loss. We've got Max Loss bonus. So <laughs> <laughs> we're going to see a buy, Ooh. and it should be a strong buy. But they need to start posting some rounds on the board and getting a little bit more competitive here. So simple. He's been gifted the big green. Thank you very much, Flamey. Unfortunately for you, that means that you only get a smoke and a Molotov. Not the even ramped, a full set which has of been a problem. Eggs. Yeah, so right here, right now, Na'Vi needs to start making a bit of a stand. In usual fashion, it's probably going to be a multi-kill. So which star player is going to turn up for them this time? 
looking good. Looking very good. Electronic, he likes to play around this front smoke and he has managed to get himself into a prime angle. Look at that. Oh, Roy's not going to be at expecting it at all, but it doesn't matter if they go main off the flash they have. Boomich forced to tuck in. Hoopsie takes off Perfecto's head and boom. This is clean. Just like that, another almost spotless round. That's clinical. They've got their surgical scalpel out and just dissect the Na'Vi defense. That was so nice. That flash that landed yeah. perfectly in front of main there, we caught that from the first-person perspective of Boomich. As soon as he peers away, Perfecto completely left open. He gets taken out, and from there, the top side just crumbles. Oh, that was cool. I'm really enjoying this. This is... So let's just recount the ways that they've used these smokes. Simple's going to get a couple of exit kills here, most likely. There you go. Well, these are just stat padding right now, ladies and gentlemen. But the way that Hooksy has been exploiting this, he's gone into Warehouse. That's a very standard approach. They've done a top split off of it. They've been able to get him down the vent multiple occasions. They've gone down secret. They're using this smoke and all the variations to force Na'Vi into unknown territory. They don't know what they're looking at while those smokes are up. So here's your options, because Na'Vi need rounds. Let's get stuck in. Let's start taking Wait. the fight to them. Push Lobby, push Yard, actually go for some Yard control go for something a little bit more aggressive but there's peacemaker on your screen and he's bloody loving this i'll tell you yeah dude i mean this is going to be such a gratifying feeling as a coach look at this flashbang you can see boomage still doing the dance vision restored hoops he's ready got his flight path lined up roy's holding the back and this is some exit frags to wrap it all up but that's eight now 80 rounds and i'm so glad we started today by talking about the power of the t side on nuke because ever since that pistol and its conversion it's all been Mad Lions. Those two rounds from Na'Vi were eight rounds ago. So let's look at what they've exploited as well. Not only is it the smoke wall, flamey is how they condition them early. Let's put pressure on ramp. Let's take that avenue. Let's force them to be a little bit jittery with the ro rotations. And then now when the smoke wall comes up and the idea that they could get lower, well, do they rotate heavy to bolster that side because hooksy has gotten into the back lines multiple times? Do you stand your ground because a top split could be coming through? There's so many questions, right. but the answer is... They're right. on a partial buy here. And look, oh. Simple and Flamey need to get activated with these two guns. Look at Electronic. I thought he was going to once for the first time actually go aggressive yard, but he's been shut down every time he's lingered around main. Oh, it's the bent elbow. So we got another variation of smokes here. Different, but the same. <laughs> and uh, the, the only man that's going to be adventuring, it's previously been Hoogsy. He's been using the, uh, the lone wolf on red, but you can see he's not alone this time. He's got Roy with him. So they're just suggesting right now that they have gone down secret, right? That for them to appear through those smokes into warehouse, very unlikely because of the gap that was left. But here it's okay. They're most likely down secret. We can see with the radar, top left-hand side of your screen, nobody from Navi has bitten on that right now. Staying in yard, waiting for that information. Flash comes through. Electronic doesn't pivot off of that. Mm. So they still don't know what's on the other side. They don't know where Mad Lions are whatsoever. Boosting onto red. This is cool. Now simple. Likely pre-aiming this from somewhere, somehow. He's got a tight line for now, just on the cross to main. Or rather to warehouse, it's very tight. Acor wants to hunt, Simple's peeking off his own flashbang. Nobody gives him the fight, it's Electronic, the first to fall, and Roy, just a slither of his elbow, knocked off by Simple. Puts us into a level, and even keel. Even Hooksy taking a bit of a heavy flak, he's down to just 2 HP. I'm... And you're right, Chad, 25 seconds, I don't even know how. And you might expect to be able to dig themselves out of trouble with 20 seconds. It's a five seconds window to plant, four and a half. Simple already finds another, doubles up. Three remain. The T's might want to try and dive down the vent. This is ambitious. They go in top side, and that's the frag they need. Boomich denies them both, and the round is lost. That's what they needed. Na'Vi with just two weapons. It's actually the CZ that doubles up, and now Acor just save it on to that AWP. It's not necessarily a financial one, more just hoping that the Na'Vi boys don't get yeah. the momentum. Yeah, double op setup might be nice. Flamey with one over towards ramp, simple with one towards the yard position because those are some areas where they have Where's been having second? struggles. Oh, they were literally just Lined out for him. Yeah, on top of each other. Now, we did note earlier in the piece where it was a tight round against the pistols where they only managed to pick up all five kills against Na'Vi with six seconds remaining on the clock. They hadn't even planted the bomb. Mad Lions there, in action, was their biggest issue. And they didn't actually take any space. And then as soon as Simple starts picking them off with 30 seconds left on the clock, they didn't react. Go on, Hoopsie. Okay, CT Molly will stop him and deter him, but he will have time as the smoke's still up. Waits to time it perfectly. They spray as it fades. He gets it. Lovely stuff. Hooksy has now once again got access to lower. They're going for what worked right at the start. One of their first gun Simple's rounds. coming ramp now. Good call. 
Flamey senses it. Flash, no one fires a shot. Flash and return. Util being deployed. Flamey tucked in. Shush completely found. Oh, and another spectacular headshot. Simple is backing him up. Refresh needs the double, but Flamey denies. He's got himself three as he locks down Ram. But Na'Vi starting to shift momentum in their favor. Hooksy, he's been known to slip the net. And he's got very little power in this lower site. What with the bomb lost on ramp. Good kill. Quick adjustment. He was ready for that. Loses a great deal of health in the process, but finding Boomich is a start. It's a good start. Flamey with an AWP. He could be overwhelmed if he goes for a wide swing here. He's got to get his movement right. He's slow. And it should be Flamey's. Get collect it. Four on the ramp lockdown. And that's exactly hey. what Na'Vi needed to see Flamey waking up. Tested ramp again. Previously, where Mad Lions were accruing plenty of rounds, this time denied. And probably a good time for a timeout because there's a few things to discuss right now. Do we continue with the game plan as it's been working? We could try and punish Flamey towards ramp again. He did have a fantastic adjustment just there, but you can give it another crack. You still have a handful of rounds to work with. You still have a chance to exploit the same weaknesses you did earlier in the piece. More smoke walls towards Yard. Get Hooksy down the vent some more through that squeaky door position. All of those avenues are still open. Or do they want to go for something completely different? Do they want to just change the tune of this one? Maybe a top piece just set off the bat without giving away anything. We're not doing any wall smokes towards Yard. We're not doing any ramp presence early. We haven't blown open squeaky. What are we presenting this time? There's still the unknown for Mad Lions to throw at Na'Vi here. But this round right now, if Na'Vi can pick this up. They're going to put Mad Lions in a position where they need to consider their buy. They should be able to get a full purchase going forward, but they might be broken towards the tail end where we see some Galils or Tech Nines in the final rounds of play. So round 13, 8 to 4 in favor of Mad Lions on the T side. Squeaky blown open. on top towards main, and it looks like more of a default spread. Odds have definitely shrunk right now for Na'Vi, down to 165. Mad Lions have... Uh, and really clawed into this one. Yeah, if, however, Na'Vi continue to close this half out, I will lose a lot of that momentum I felt Mad Lions were building. I do think it needs to be 10. I think it needs to be that intimidating double digits that allows for a couple of Na'Vi T-half madness to occur. It's the pick again, same style. Flamey learned his lesson. He can't deny that. Ramp has given up. I love this smoke that they're throwing. It's different. I haven't seen anything quite like it before. They're using that to entry. So that can isolate a jewel on the left-hand side of ramp there, but they also peer through it on both angles oh, to take flights out towards of ladder base. Oh. Yeah, so if you are an AWPA, you can't sit there holding that line because they can get up nice and close on you by using the guise of that smoke. He caught down. It was the right IP for him as well. Simple, just quicker. And so early first blood goes Na'Vi's way, courtesy of Simple Electronic. The off angle, lovely find. They're starting to get the mojo flowing. Na'Vi looking comfortable. Refresh could find him here. That's Boomich caught jumping, but he evades fragging. It's Roy with only one. Shush thrust into a 1v3. No real way to the lower site. There's two rotated down, so perhaps upper is the best play. It's only Perfecto, and he's pushed up trophy. You have to know that as an option. Go quick, bro. Well, he's isolated to the back of the site here. Cannot move from the back wall. What an adjustment! Oh, and he nearly gets the second chance as well. Early spray, but a quick reaction to the hut peak. It's not enough to translate the clutch, but he did hit the shot. Two remain as the defuse comes in. Navi taking the fifth. Yeah, that plan is great. You can see their money here still in that 6K realm plus. Now, going forward, their loss bonus is starting to build. They have lost three rounds now on the trot. So that means they've got 2,900. If they played out so differently. If both those ramp players went down, it looked like it was going to be fumbled there for a second. So Navi did a good job to course correct and simple. He's up to 18 kills now. 10 for Flamey, 6 for Electronic, 4 for Boomich, and 2 for Perfecta. 18. 18. 18. <laughs> That's one of those oh, days, Alex. One of those, yeah. Okay. So we're back to our outside smokes and a lot of them. They, this is what makes it feel like a lot of pace to the Mad Lions T side initially. You can see all of them blooming. Electronic has all of that denied. He's forced into a corner thanks to the Molotovs and flashbangs. And then I really fear if they hit the brakes for too long. So Acor looks like he's uh, positioning himself for the outside hold. He's got more utility to throw, I imagine. It's just wild to me that Na'Vi don't rotate anybody lower considering the amount of times that Flamey has had pressure come in from Hooksy on a split. There is the take, and that's the flash they wanted. Forces Perfecto off, and how does Shush hit that? He was looking at the ground, and Roy 
gets another, finally silenced, but they're going ramp. And it's only simple. He had a P250, the AWP was on his back. Flamey does eliminate the one lingering team member. I say one, oh, but refresh. Is Flamey expecting this? He was, he was still anticipating. It doesn't stop him from going down though. And that is a Mad Lions ninth, that necessary as they've got the second half ahead of them. This is Mad Lions pick and they've broken the CT finances for this final round, at least uh, for a mem couple of members of them. There's nine grand on electronic, he'll distribute nicely. One M4 thrown over already. Simple buys himself his AW. Yeah, that means Perfecto, he's getting shafted here. He's going to grab the Famous. So Electronic being a bit of a bank, he's dropped across two raffles, even purchased himself on through. But you're right, if Mad Lions can get 10, that's a bit of a statement. So many different strats in their book for this T-side. There's just been, yeah, we've seen so many variations of smoke walls and positions and angles, and Mad Lions are well prepared on their map choice. Look, see and refresh. Oh, oh, oh he certainly saw him. They're crouching under the smoke, simple elevated to try and find the line, nothing crossed the warehouse. That's the communication. This time there's a full commitment behind it. We've only seen this within the early stages of the game. So if Na'Vi aren't ready for this pace change, Boomich might be in a world of hurt. How many times have we seen Boomich drop that smoke? I don't think he's gonna get a chance this time. Has he got a line up for it? He's just gonna jump for info. That's, that's what he's opted for. Oh, just as he moves away, Acor scoped up on him. Oh, Flamey's is so brave, but this is an important push to yeah, get into smart. the site. And he's even got Simple to hold his back line now. I kind of like Na'Vi's setup here. Now, Refresh could do something from that vent's position, but he's got to kind of try and stop that vent rotate. That's his plan. But Wallbang actually works out nicely. Boomich gets brought down to 30, forced out of position a little. And that's the Simple frags. They keep coming. He gets both of them. And he might even find a third. Acor doesn't. Simple does. And that's a 6-9 half. Solid defense keeps it close enough, and we'll see exactly how far Mad Lions can push it. They're heading over to the defensive side of Nuke. with a point to prove. Oh, okay.
So it's Na'Vi and Mad Lion starting off our second day of IEM Beijing with quite the day of Counter-Strike matches. There's been some stress. We've had death slams and frowns and squints from Na'Vi, but they have stabilized to a point where I believe, Chad, there's, there's a competitive half ahead. Yeah, but once again, it's been the big man simple here, helping the team get this far. If you combine Flamey, Electronic, Boomage, and Perfecto's kills, they have 26 in total. Simple had 21 in the first half. So ah. uh, it is the simple show to kick things off here today. Let's see if he can on the T side. Very very fast, and they could be He's walking straight into Refresh. He's on the hunt. Hoopsie taps away at the first. They've got a Tech 9 into the pistol, and Electronics filled the feed with it. Gets a double, no less, to open up and start that bomb plan, but it's been stopped. I can't believe it. I believe he just straight up banged smoke. him through the smoke. Electronic, a third for the Tech 9. He's finally brought down to size, and now the price they pay is an unarmored Boomich in this 1v2. He caught. Okay, first the jewel. Ball. He knows where Shush was. He's got both of his targets. It's just about precision. Now, bomb retrieval is another part of the game, and he's got it. He can slip away. Perfect. Lots of time for this. F1 complete. Now, I'd love to hear a fake ramp into a loop around. If both descend into the top side, kind of like this, they'll just stick around. Travelers a pack can drop vents together if they feel the need, but they don't have to do that just yet, I imagine. Oh, they're going yard, and so is Boomage. This is interesting. So they're going to wait for the sound cue before they drop down Acor, even doubling back over towards the heaven position. I don't think Shush should be expecting Boomich to come on down through main. But the timing on if he spots Acor or not could give away his position. He's coming in from main. Shush really not anticipating this. This is probably going to make it a 1v1. Oh, nice clean kill. And one more to find Acor. And Boomich is pre-aiming his position as well. Oh, he's open. Oh, he's planted for it and fakes it, looking for the frag. A couple of bullets go awry. He's down to seven HP, no armor. The USP shreds through him. One headshot his only way in, and Acor finishes it off with an eventual final bullet into Boomich. It's 10. Well, we said that Simple has been great. Acor has been fantastic as well. Some of the impact rounds he was having within the early stages of this game, the AWP in the lower site was phenomenal, and so was this from Electronic into the top site. They've given the entry frag a, a weapon for the job. He gets three kills, but it's not enough. Navi dropped the pistol around here, and Mad Lions are in the driver's seat. I wish we'd caught that smoke shot. He really did just straight up just muscle memory. I remember where the front top front plant is from main. Just bangs him out. So, yeah, that's a frustrating way to go. Just right watch there. Simple's health bar go from like 100 to 70 to 50 to 30 to zero. Look what the kills from Electronic on Pistol Round has facilitated, though. He's been able to drop across an AK for Simple. Now, Simple needs to find some impact here. He's even given a Deagle to Electronic. Both of the star players have heavily invested going into round number two of the second half. If they don't find any impact here, if they're unable to get any kills and make this round interesting whatsoever, going into the next round, I have a couple of questions. Will they buy with the Galils? Will they purchase on through and drop guns across to the two-star players once again? Or will they opt to take a, stay, a save to level out their economy and make sure it can be a full buy? Because we know Na'Vi, they love these janky rounds. And these are the ones that keep their opponents on their toes. You never know what you're coming up against. Oh, oh it's my perfect. God. The flash, the push, the MP9, it slaughters the only hero, AK. There's no Kevlar. Electronics sellotape the bomb to it, to his chest in the hope of hopefully blocking a bullet. But yeah, unarmored AK and the rest of his team are already disintegrating around him. It's just SMGs, but good use of the flashbang. The only rifle works to perfection. Locked down, 11 found, and a heavy investment of their stars, Chad. You painted the picture perfectly. That flash was nuts. I want to see it just flying through the sky, simple realizing this is not going to end well. Roy just rounds the corner. He, was, he wasn't letting go of W. That was a, a classic moment right there where he was just running to take as much space as he could. So fantastic work there. That was team play, Acor towards heaven throwing that. Roy getting the frags, and, well, it will be the buy. So check this out. Electronic with a Tech 9, Simple with a Deagle, and Galils. This is... Uh, Look at the outside stack. Three of them went to throw something. Roy tucks himself in, and actually early smoke outside Yard. He wants to one-way that. But there's only going to be an Electronic and Boomich having a look or make it just Electronic. Aggressive with the Org. Takes down that jump. 
And it puts us into a disadvantage for MLV. Sexy Deagle skin for simple. They've done their homework here. And I want to point that out because Boomich plays on top of that main roof round after round. We saw it in the previous with him throwing the smoke towards main. Well, that's his go-to on their default. So Mad Lions have come in here today ready to win. And they're doing a fantastic job on map number one. Ah, it's going to be difficult to see Na'Vi get into a game like this. And I know I've said that a million times. Yeah, and then they do it. But they need some... Big performances, and so far it is really just a simple show. Flamey had a couple of multi frag moments, electronic on the pistol round was able to get a couple of kills, but all in all, it's just been this man on your screen right here. Yeah, unfortunate reality is that it has just not been the team effort required for an RV performance or a victory. There you go, that's not too shabby. Electronic into the site, Hooksy in a lot of trouble. He does get his flashbang off, and it works wonders. He gets two frags with very low HP, down to 41 before anyone came into the site, and they wrap it all up with another SMG frag. They get free upgrades on all of them. And this does bode so poorly now for Na'Vi, Chad. You're right, the... the Early rounds have been very convincing for Mad Lions. This is Boomich being read nicely, just losing his life on an aggressive position from that org. Acor using it nicely. It's called cool to see the, uh, the sniper taking the org for the early rounds on yeah. CT Nuke. That can play similar roles. He's yeah. actually even more potent against uh, the lower buys as well because they're likely to be more in a pack than they would on the gun round. So fantastic stuff here from Mad Lions as they continue to impress. Acor, what are you up to, bro? What are you up to, bro? He hasn't even checked close, and that's a free MP9 delivered to a member of Na'Vi. Ooh, quite the angle flame. If this works, I'm going to love it. It was a little risky from Refresh, but he's fine, and they've managed to lock down this outside control. They don't have the utility for a wall, but they will drop one main. Bro needs to be very careful here. This Deagle from Simple, if it lops off his head, if he overpeaks and Simple takes another frag towards the yard position. Oh, Mad Lions are going to be strung very thin. He's actually been able to tuck across into Warehouse. So a very good position. Shush towards Ramp. He's going to have a couple. Yeah, he may not be anticipating someone so close. Yeah, he is. He's, he's aware that Perfecto can swing. And that's what oh. he was worried about. A quick one dig from Perfecto puts a weapon into Na'Vi hands and they descend. Boomich bringing the bomb down ramp, making as much noise as he does. No one's home. They can get the plan down for free. They completely can. What a turnaround. One opening frag, one over aggression. And now Mad Lions looking to overcome a three versus four. It's certainly not impossible. Kits, rifles, everything favors Mad Lions in that respect. But numbers, Navi have other plans. So many there. And he can't even get one. Boomich pulls the trigger so damn quick. Save. Yeah. Yeah, they're backing off. If they got stuck into this and they gave up more guns, then we start coming into economic woes for Mad Lions, saving these two weapons, or if they can, Simple's on the hunt. He might get a timing here on Roy. I don't think Simple will be expecting this. If he hits this shot, absolute banger would be reported, but Roy is going to deal with him. So good survivability right now. The three players on Na'Vi should hold on to what they have as well. Their economy not looking fantastic whatsoever. And just exiting over the one secret bomb goes off. Round comes onto the board. Scoreline now 12 to 7, favoring Mad Lions on their map choice. But this is the uh, economy play, the percentage play, as we like to call it these days. So Acor maybe getting a little bit ahead of himself, gifting that freebie to Simple, and that's all they needed to work the pieces across the map and find themselves a very important round. So a timeout coming on through. Take a quick look at the right-hand side of your screen. You can see Shush has 7.1K. He can drop an AWP over towards Acor. Acor he needs... Oh, okay, Refresh can drop it. Yeah. Okay. So they're making it work. They've they've cobbled together this buy. So there's not going to be any drama. Shush can actually even afford whatever he wants at this point as well. Groovy. <laughs> Boomage can't. Probably a rifle on the floor for him, but Hopefully. we do get into a Na'Vi success. Finally. First of the T-side. And it came off the back, as Chad has outlined, just that simple effect. Aiko getting a little too greedy. He's been having a good game, and I can understand it. You know, if he took that fight, he immediately gets simple. Double kill, yeah, that's look, one. that's feeling great. Yeah. More money in the bank. But it just shows you how close these rounds can come down to. That was just the pistol upgrade from Na'Vi. So here we go, back underway. Warp out for simple. Image has that M4. All for electronic. Very curious buy for both teams. Lots of weapons. All right, they need to be careful before picking this line, and Boomich is not going to be jumping on towards main electronic. There was a little gap it was just tiny. under that smoke. I don't think anything was seen. <laughs> Boomich is on his roof again, and he electronic has there. snuck down secret. Simple posted up for warehouse. No contact there. 
and it's Roy. Only in Sandry, so we won't be able to drop the smoke and panic. That's why he's holding an off angle. Wants con contact and to take a frag. Boomich has revealed his location. Refresh can communicate that to Acor, who readies his aim. 50 second mark. We do see the incendiary drop lower. That's going to force Roy into a more passive stance now. That's the frag Acor was waiting for. Catches the first of the adventurers in yard. Boomich joins Simple behind the red container. They cannot cross. They cannot join Electronic. And that's the bomb, Chad. What do they do? They walk they across? Lower. It walk. feels like they have to go lower which means they need to take a fight, but with only this one flash, that's their only option, flash and go. And Simple spotted Acor, but not having that frag, puts them in dire straits. Acor has kept them, they force them into the site, he even catches Boomich. Great play, Simple with the bomb spotted. Flamey is on top site. I think they're calling a save. And he's running away. Refresh is chasing him, both of them. That's a very, very easy round for Mad Life to pick up. It didn't even feel like they had to do anything other than hold their ground, wait for kills to be presented to Acor grabs a couple and that's it yeah i mean <laughs> mad, mad lions t side you know did a lot more with the same control yeah they were actually able to use the smokes to take some territory navi they took secret control but only one yeah. and then they faded and the bomb was trapped behind red it didn't look nice and i, I will a, a direct credit to acor because he was very passive but his presence alone and the fact he was still hitting shots yeah. was enough to keep them pinned at red. Well, I think as well, if we, we take a look at the man that we were highlighting from the first half for Navi being simple, he's only got one kill so far in the second half. So his impact is not being felt just yet, but they're running out of rounds to do exactly that. So things are going swimmingly on this mad lion side and it doesn't even feel like they're needing to break too much of a sweat so far. As the timeout ticks on down, Navi have called their second two remaining here in map number one. You can see top right of your screen, Train and Overpass their maps to follow if required. Train will definitely be coming up next, but Overpass has that third. And Navi, well, Electronic can buy. Simple still has that orb. Perfecto looks like he's opted for a Tech 9. Vimich, he can get a full kit of utility here. So everything they want going into the next round of play for Navi, but they're running out of rounds. They certainly are, Chad. This. Oh, they flubbed their smoke Rest as well. There was a molly actually on the roof. Stop yeah. the bounce. Hake all through that as well, I believe. Damn. One way to lock him out. But he's just gone straight back into this passive orping stance as well. So he can see completely the gap towards Yard. They haven't crossed towards Red yet. There's no option for them to do so. That means there's been no rotation so far to the lower site. Navi left with a bunch of Molotovs, a couple of smokes, flashes. Boomich back on his perch. But they need to get some kills. And if they let the clock whittle down again, I think they'll just lose to the positioning of this AWP. Not again. <laughs> okay, so they're going for some aim map style smokes here. One towards main, one towards the windows. Flashes as well. But still, Acor can just hold this line. Very strong against the default of Navi. He's even worried about back of warehouse, but nobody's home. This is quite a turtle setup from Mad Lions. They even have two towards ramp, so the map is very fortified. Yeah, top side seems to be the plan, right? Is that heaven, Molly? Bombed box, I think. Okay, so Hooksy's gonna have to find a safe haven. He is safe for now. Flashes his teammate out, but refreshes the one to fall. Navi have an advantage now as they look to tighten their grasp. Hooksy does connect into the first, but quickly swung on. Tech Nine's all perfecto needed. Bomb will be planted and rotate coming in. Electronic has this lobby fight. Roy second guessing himself. A nice sound cue given over, and looks like Shush is saving. Yeah. Looks like they concede this one. And so Navi. Very Danish. Yeah, getting exactly what they wanted, and they play the percentages. Yeah, that's the thing. So this game, if Navi continue to be threatening in these rounds and they're not in a scrap, and what I mean by that is there's not equal trades. As you can see on your screen right now, not a lot of damage done to the surviving Navi players. Boomich, the only member to fall, the trades fell in the favor of Navi. At this stage, for Mad Lions to even try and retool on a retake, they have to get in and win with multi kills. And that's very difficult to do in a retake scenario. So they've opted to take their guns home, come back and fight in the next round. Their economy is still decent. So the loss bonus trickle on through. Guns can be dropped from Roy and Shush over to Refresh and Hooksy. They do need utility. So I would like to see that as the option. Shush, after the rebuy, has 3,400. He can drop an M4. Roy will be able to do the same. He only needs to buy into a smoke grenade of $300 worth. And at this point, Mad Lions, they lose this one. Well, now we start talking about that Navi double digits. Yeah, taking a look at opening jewels as well. They are dead even, despite Mad Lions overcoming many of those 4v5 disadvantages. You can see it's actually just 10 to 11 in opening jewels. That doesn't sound too bad, but 13 to 8 does. 
Three rounds is all Mad Lions need. And look at the spec. Oh my goodness, Roy, calm down. He charges into lobby. Hooksy's right behind him. They just charge lobby. They're doing a lobby crunch. And it kind of works. Shush has only got one HP. That's not really oh, functional. He nearly goes down. Just evades the nade around the corner. This is kooky. Flamey needs the Easy bomb. quick. And he does come on in to call it clear. They have so much time left, but my God, is this a different change of pace from Mad Lions. They just rushed into the lobby. Roy close to finding simple. That would have put us into a completely dead even 2v2, but Flamey has an advantage now and all hooksy just as you arrive, bro. Has to fight. And he does. He wins the duel. Nasty, nasty twist of fate. Puts us into that 2v2 I was mentioning. This is very winnable now for Mad Lions. This would be an absolutely monstrous round to win. Hooksy wants more. He's searching. He might get the double. I don't know, man. Flash is pushing. Oh, he cakes down Electronic. It's only simple now. With seven HP, he's lost his healthy teammate. And the bomb's loose as well, trying to retrieve it in the smoke. Tuck if he drops vent, look at Shush. Yeah, you're right. The vent is broken, though. Simple retrieves the bomb and drops down. Okay. Step one complete, but Shush, as you mentioned, the one HP survivor is right where he needs to be. And Mad Lions overcome. A great two versus three played out by Shush and Hooksy. That was insane. It looked like that lobby crunch, obviously premeditated as a call. You're not just doing that one off the fly. It's not let's just push. You could actually see that Molotov from Hooksy there coming on through, locking out the players from lobby. Nice from Shush, man. They did a great job to brawl in that fashion. I, I really, really want to put credit on Hooksy's Molotov deep lobby because it locked at least two players out of the fight. You could just see how they swarmed. They took the players out on the little hut rafter. Everything going very well for them there, and that was not an expected pace change. You can see Na'Vi immediately having to take another timeout. Only one remaining now, Simple immediately buying on in. The rest of his teammates had no choice but to follow here. Boomich, is he going to go for a Galil? Will he go for an AK with armor? That's going to put him low on utility. Perfecto's had to go down to the Tech-9. He couldn't get himself a rifle going forward. And as that technical timeout, oh, sorry, tactical timeout has expired, and get back underway, but it's 14 to 8. Mad Lions, two rounds away from sewing up map number one. Yeah, Na'Vi, their history on Nuke has been spotty. Losing recently to both OG, Astralis, and I believe Mouse Sports in the last two months of play. Mad Lions looking to add their name to the list and a couple of rounds separating them. GG.bet actually starting to give them the edge. It's been quite the shift in the odds over the course of our first map of the series. Electronic posted up, he'll be the red lurk. There is a man right behind him on the other side of this, though. Roy, he's going to surely do his oh, due diligence. Neither of them did. They still don't know. I don't know who's going to check. I actually don't know. I don't think Electron's going to look up. He's going to get gifted this if Roy goes, oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Yikes. That's no fun for Roy. He feels like a bit of a plum. Bit hot under the collar there. His gaming jersey getting itchy. It's all right, mate. We didn't catch all of that. Oh, no. Perfect camera it's angle. It's not like 30,000 people were watching you <laughs> not check your corners. It wasn't even corners. Oh, no. It was the Z-axis, and they've lost Electronic. Perfecto jumps into the jaws. Boomich finally finds ramp, but short-lived. Acor plucks the leader of Na'Vi out from the cross, and now Simple does have ramp control. Flamey in the lobby. Acor's not expecting this. Oh, he slipped the net. Has he, though? Acor's pre-aimed it. Maybe he saw his hip. It's so hard for Simple to win this fight. Is it, a, is it just a guess? It is a guess. He's still floating ramp as well. The thing is, Simple is really on a knife's edge here. If he peers out too far and shows the barrel, Acor's going to... All the timing on this. <laughs> How can you get any luckier with that one? And the it. bomb. Look where the bomb is. How does Flamey win this? Okay, 25 seconds. Kill him. Hope they peek him. It's not going to happen. He needs the hook mod to get up heaven there. Yeah. Because otherwise, yeah, that's 15 on the board for Mad Lions. This is going to be a single-digit victory for Mad Lions on Nuke. This is fantastic stuff. What a turnaround. That first half, we were thinking, well, it was close. It was 9-6. You know, we're used to Na'Vi having lackluster CT sides. We know <laughs> on the T side, that's where they turn it on. That's when they come together. Simple still with only one kill here in this second half. I was making, I was exaggerating a little bit, but I found that complexity result I was thinking of. It was over at ESL One Cologne. Remember oh, that? Okay. That yeah. was a while ago. That was, uh, what was that? That was 10 and a half weeks ago. It was a 16-8, not a 16-3, but felt good. It felt very dominating. That's if all I was saying. If you cut an eight in the middle, yeah. it makes three. That's, yeah, like, oh, I see what you did there. Yeah. Vertically. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just had a weird looking C. <laughs> Okay, so Tech Nine's behind the wall of smokes. There we go. That's a nice start, and it's a fundamental T side approach. Okay, there's two of them lower already. How are you going to get past Acor? He's been on fire. 
I don't know, man. I see this looking like a couple of mollies after a frag. Suddenly they're locked out. Have to peer a little bit, and that's enough. Uh, that's enough for Acor. He's got himself his 24th frag in pursuit of the match point. This is it. To take the map, and certainly not the match. This is the first of the best of three. Oh, hi, simple. Bit of an overextension, and the hero dies a hero's death. Perfecto. Long range tapping. Roy just had a transfer with the org into two heads. And we wrap it all up, put a bow on it. Nuke is mad. Lions, they picked it and they win it.